So now we're going to do a couple more exercises. Again, for your arms, legs, and your core. We're going to start by facing the chair, the feet of the chair. Place your hands down so your heels are right towards the edge of the chair. Step your feet back and make sure your shoulders are aligned right above your wrists. Your back is straight, your hips are not dropping down or sagging up. So you're actually in a plank position, except that you're using your the chair, the seat of your chair to support you rather than the floor. You're on the ball of your feet, my heels are off the floor. I'm going to start by taking my right leg back. This is my starting position. From here, I'm going to squeeze through my abs, draw the knee in towards my nose, drop my forehead down, and exhale. This is one. Extend back. Bring it in again. Two. Extend back. Three. Pull in there and extend. Four. Exhaling completely. Five. Keeping the legs straight, keeping the toes pointed. Six. Seven. Pull in. Eight. We're going to do eight more. Eight. And back. Make sure the left foot is on the ball of the foot. And back. Six. Extend. Five. Just four more. Four. Extend. Three. So my left calves muscles are working too. And one more. Last one. And breathe. All right. Take your hands off the chair. Rotate your wrists if you need a short break. Get back into the same position. Same routine on the left side now. So walk your feet back just a bit. Make sure your hands again are lined up under your shoulders. You're on the ball of your feet. Left leg starts off the floor. Back is in a nice flat position. Draw the left knee in towards you. Pull your abs in. One. And extend. Two. Exhaling on that crunch. Three. Exhale. Four. Really pull the abs as far back as you can. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Always returning to that flat back position. Eight. Stay strong. Seven. Pull in. Pull the knee in as close to your forehead as you can. Five. Give me four more. You should be feeling this through your shoulders, too. Three. So many muscles in the body working through this. Two. One more. Last time. And release. Nice work, guys. All right. Now we're going to move to the back of the chair. This one's going to challenge your balance a little bit, too. So you're going to start right here. Place your right hand on the chair. Bring your left leg up. So point your toes down and just touch it to the inside of your right knee. Left arm is extended forward. Now there's two variations to this. Like I said, this is going to challenge your balance, especially if you're doing it on a carpeted floor. It's going to be a little harder. So if it's too hard, you can choose to modify or fight your way through the balance, like I'm going to be doing. All right, so your left hand is up, left leg is bent. You're going to come up onto the ball of your right foot and rotate, take the left arm back and try to look back. One, and release the heel down, lift up. Two, this is where you start feeling that little shakiness. Three, open out as you raise onto the ball of the right foot. Four, and release. This is going to really tax your calves. Five, and squeeze through your abs to really fight to stay balanced. Six, and release. Seven, and down. Eight, really rotate the torso. Give me eight more. Eight, and if you want to modify, you can just keep the foot flat down, focus on the rotation. Seven, and six, or an intermediate might be also 
So just stay on the ball of your foot the whole time. Five. Four. You're still going to feel the pain through that one. Three. So you can try this version also. Just give me two more. And last one. Out. And in. Real good. We have to do the other side. So let's stabilize on the left leg. Right foot comes out. Place that inside of that foot, touching the inside of your knee. Stand up tall, pointing through the toe. Right arm is forward, and you're going to turn to face the back, extending the right arm, coming up on the ball of the left foot. One. Bring it around. Exhale as you twist. Two. And forward. Three. And release. Go up as high as you can. Four. And try to hold there for a second. Five. You always have the option of keeping the foot down flat the whole time. Six. Arm is right in level with the shoulder. Seven. Exhaling on the twist. Eight. Let's see if we can stay up for the last eight. Eight. Bring it forward. Seven. At least you're going to feel the calves burning on this. Six. Stay up. Hold up. Five. Again, trying to keep as much weight as you can on the leg. Four. Just holding onto the chair for just a little bit of balance. Three. Lift up. Lift up. Stand tall. Two. You only have one left. And one. And release. Wow. If you're like me, your calves are on fire right now. But you did super well. So just add the two of these. I know this particular one, combination, both these exercises are not something you can do while watching TV because you might be looking away from it. But try your best. You can always turn your chair around, position it so you don't have to miss your favorite show. All right, guys, excellent work today. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.